This is the Ultimia P40 projector. Right now it retails on Amazon for about $240. And naturally, I'm curious if this is better than my $3,500 JVC projector. And not only that, is it better than a $250 projector like the Wemius K1 that we've already reviewed on the channel? Just how good is this Ultimia P40 projector? Well, we're about to find out. Now, before we look at both the subjective and objective tests of the Apollo P40, let's first have a first look at this projector. The first thing that surprised me was this packaging. I'm used to these budget projectors being in some cheap Modane packaging, not retail level stuff, which is exactly what the Apollo P40 was in. All right, let's take a look at the Ultimia P40. It does have a manual dust cover to cover that lens if you so want to. Um, it also has what looks like an IR port here, although the remote control says it works 360 degrees and it does. We can literally point this remote control anywhere, whether it's at the ground, whatever, it still works. You're going to want that remote control because there are really no physical buttons on here except the power button. So even if you can power this on, you go to a main menu where you actually have to select your input. So in order to really do anything, you have to have the remote control. So that's one ding that I have on the Apollo P40, but it does have an HDMI input which is capable of 1080p signal and it does accept a 4k signal it does have an av input aux input and two usb inputs and look at that man that looks like a massive heat sink on here and which actually makes a lot of sense because this is a relatively quiet uh, unit when it's on <laughs> did you just see that or hear that that's literally the autofocus going on. This autofocus and auto keystones everything for you. What that means is that the image actually fits the screen correctly and perfectly. Already in focus. I don't have to worry about manual adjustments. In fact, this is the easiest projector I've ever had to set up, even more so than the JVC. Now, it's not perfect. I do have to kind of line it up first, but once I lined it up, I mean, it's good to go. It's pretty cool. Another feature that the Apollo P40 claims to have is fully sealed optics. That means that there should be no dust getting inside the optics. You can clean off the outside and you should be free and clear, unlike a lot of other cheap projectors. And if this is true, that's going to keep your projector looking better longer. That's enough talking about it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the picture quality of this compared to some other ones and see just what we think about this Ultimia. Let me start by showing you three calibrated images from the three different projectors, and then we'll go through what's actually occurring on these images. Now let's first take a subjective look at these pictures and see what's going on. If we take a look at the top left one, we're gonna see that there's a blue hue to just about everything. Whether we're talking about the whites or whether we talk about the crowd, it just looks bluer than everything else. Also, when we take a look at the car, we're gonna see that, like for example, on his fender, it is all one color red and it looks way oversaturated. Like the color red isn't natural. Yet when we take a look at the one next to it, uh, we're gonna see that there is some black inside uh, that fender wheel. Those reds are starting to change colors. Although those reds don't look quite as bright or as vibrant, they look almost more of an orangish tint uh, than a red tint. But we are getting some really good blacks, especially in the shadow of the stadium, which are looking good. And the tires are looking black, where once again, when we look at the left, uh, the tires are just looking like a blue hint or haze to just about everything. It just doesn't look right or accurate. Now if we take a look at the bottom one. This one does look more of the creme de la creme. The reds are looking bright red. Uh, the tires are looking right with the blacks and the grays. And we're getting a little bit more delineation in the grays. Uh, when we look once again in the stadium up high, uh, we're seeing grays and blacks in there. We're seeing a little bit more detail. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual test results. The top left one is the wheel and the Wemius is very oversaturated and we're not getting real blacks or grays. And we can tell that by when we go ahead and do the test. These tests, if the colors are coming back accurately, will be in the green. And if we take a look at uh, the Wemius, we can see that all of the gray scale is in the red. Now, typically with a budget projector, we wanna stay under five and these are significantly over that. And unfortunately, there's not much that we can do. Now, we, I also said there was a blue hint to everything. If we take a look at the test, the colors look, there is a huge blue hue to everything. And we can see we can't even get a pure white. It actually comes back as teal. And with the uh, ways that we can actually calibrate the Wemius, there's not much. We can just do a contrast brightness, and that is about it. 
There's not much that we can do to this Wemius to make it any better. It just, unfortunately, isn't a great picture quality. Now, if we go to the next one over, that is actually the Apollo P40. And the Apollo P40 is actually really interesting because if we take a look at its grayscale, its gamma scale, holy cow, it is amazing. It's almost all the way perfect except at the very, very bottom. And if we do a 75% test, so usually I do Rec 109 100%, I did a 75% test on the gamma just for curiosity, and everything was green across the board with the gamma on the 75% uh, test, which is crazy. But let's go ahead and switch back to the 100% test and take a look at its whites and how close the white is. Now the Weemius, the white was actually more of a blue color, but with the Apollo P40, the whites are pure white. And we're able to do that because we're able to adjust the red, green, and blue on the Apollo P40. Now, unfortunately, we can only adjust it over the whole range of colors. And so when we look at the scale, we are gonna see that uh, it does give a little bit too much color in the darker sections, which is why it's a little bit harder to uh, differentiate uh, some of the grays in the darker regions uh, versus the higher end regions. But overall, this is a very good picture quality. Now, when we look at the colors on the Apollo P40, uh, the Apollo P40 doesn't quite reach as red as the red as we'd like or as green in the greens as we like. And that's why when we look at uh, the car, it looks more of an orangish red and I gotta say it comes up more on a picture than it really does in real life. In real life this looks more red than it does actually in this picture. And here's the deal, it should not test as well as it did. I mean, this tested significantly above the $240 price point. I would expect some of these results to be closer to the $1,000 price point. It's very, very impressive how well this tested. Now, the obvious one, is the JVC, which is at the bottom. And of course, this is the creme de la creme of the pictures. And yes, the reds are much more uh, realistic reds. They're not oversaturated reds like you see on the Weemius. They're not orangish reds like you see on the Apollo P40. Uh, we do have the really nice whites. We see the really good delineations in blacks. And honestly, that's because I got this pretty much 100% all across the board. It's just allows me to have a lot more adjustments that the Apollo P40 had, doesn't have, and it has more colors to it than the Apollo P40. But the Apollo P40 is $240. The JVC is $3,500. The question you gotta ask yourself is, is the difference that much to make up? The Apollo P40 is by far the best budget projector I've ever tested for color quality and gamma. And I gotta say, it is very impressive what this $240 projector can do. No matter what I watched it on, whether it was Prometheus or, or Maverick or whatever, I was just very, very happy with the picture quality. And honestly, if I didn't have it to compare to the JVC, I wouldn't have been upset at all with the Apollo P40 quality. I was very, very happy with it, and so was my wife. So much so that I'm thinking about actually moving the Apollo P40 and sticking it in my living room or one of the bedrooms because I really, really like it. Although it might just become the one that we use outdoors when we go outside. But at $240, definitely the best budget projector that I've ever used. And this really makes me think that you can start getting into budget home theater for a lot cheaper than I ever thought was possible. Okay, so after everything's all said and done, this absolutely crushed the Weemius K1 in picture quality, and it came close to the JVC. It definitely wasn't where the JVC was, but it's the first projector that I could honestly say I think would be an amazing budget starter projector for someone that wanted to get into a projector television or even a, a budget theater. I think that is absolutely a great projector to start with. The Apollo P40 has really changed my mind in what budget projectors could be. I used to think that anything under a thousand dollars was, well, not usually very good, but this has changed my mind for around $300 or $240 right now on sale. You can get 150 inch screen and I think you'd be pretty happy with it. This is Toyd's Audio and I'm out.